Hey guys, Frank here again, and we got some stuff in from Alan Grom, and I can tell you a little bit of a secret now. The reason we got all this stuff in that quickly is because on Monday, a team of Kelby One will be arriving in our studio in the Netherlands to film three full new classes for Kelby One. And the classes will be all about model photography and will be very, very broad, meaning we'll do some location work, studio work. We'll talk about how to coach your model, the best poses. We will talk about working in a small environment. So for all the people who don't have a big studio, I'm going to talk about how to build your studio and lots, lots more. And we're going to go on location with our models. And of course, we're going to do a cool promo in Amsterdam. So what just came in now yeah, on the camera? If you look here, what you see, it looks like a Quadra, right, from Alan Grom. And it is, but it's the new Quadra. It's the ELB 400. Now, one of the nice things about this Quadra is if I power it on, it has the display from the ELCs. So meaning you don't have to figure out any cryptic deciphering anymore. For example, if you want to change to speed mode. Good morning, Marshall, Blake. As soon as you power this on, you don't have to see any cryptic stuff anymore. You just go into the menu and you can do stuff like PhotoCell, Skyport. You can just go through the menus. So it's way easier now to operate your uh, Quadra. Flash mode, power settings. They're also a little bit more durable than the old ones. They have a better antenna, better closing system. They get more pops out of them. And it's just a very, very cool addition to the Quadra line. And I already like the Quadras. You know, the Quadras are nice and small. They charge really fast and they give you a tremendous output, 400 watt seconds and real watt seconds, not what some other manufacturers claim. And this is just an awesome, awesome addition for the Allen Grom stuff. I now just hope that they also make a Ranger with this display. Although the Ranger is a little bit easier to operate, of course, than the Quadra. But the old Quadra, I loved it, but the problem always was the menu. And as you can see now with this one, it's an, a very, very easy to understand menu. So if you want to have, for example, the photo cell off, you just go here and you can just change it. My iPhone has a little bit of a problem with focusing. You can also do pre-flash. Now let's say that you're working, for example, with small flash. You can actually learn it to pre-flash. So that's very cool. I also want to show you something else. I'm going to do a review very soon in quite frankly about the difference between the Rode Smart Love and the NT-USB. So also watch out for that one. But the review we are doing for the Sony 24 to 240. Uh, there are now three episodes online. The fourth one I will write now in a few moments and that will be online tomorrow. And if everything goes right on Saturday, you will have the video review of that lens. So I hope you guys like what we're doing over here on Periscope and we hope to see you soon. So tomorrow, by the way, we have a one-on-one -on -one workshop and we'll try to do some Periscoping during the one-on-one -on -one workshop. So thank you guys for watching and we're going to upload this now to YouTube so you guys can watch it later. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.